So it's on for the Victor Chandler handicap now then. And this one is two mile five furlongs, 0 to 160. And the top one is Forza Juve for Ryan Tamasevi. Confessions of an Assassin for Paul Rhodes. Shining Bright, Craig Beckwith, Alexia Squadron, Darren Thompson, Pride of Paris, Paul Rhodes, Sponge Bandit, Ryan Costello, Batchley Gale, John Morgan, Into Wind, David Hooley, Long Hall, Graham Clutterbuck, Crafty Tweed, Vinnie Gerard, Lascivious Bost for Thomas Rogers, Out of Tone, Joshua Sutherland, Windchime, Alex Cherry, Financial Wizard, B. Fotheringham, Verbania Project, Ryan Costello, and Max. For Alex Cherry, so 16 then this time. And called in and away. Two mile five furlong the trip. And as they make their way down to the first, who's going to win the battle to lead? Looks like out of tone is interested in leading, so shining bright and crafty tweed. They've got 16 fences to take. And a decent looking run to the first of them. And it looks like crafty tweed in the green on the inside is going to be the one who leads them to it with out of tone in the red and black and also now being driven through there lascivious bost has come through so lascivious bost is going to take it in the lead doesn't land in the lead though because confessions of an assassin out jumped him and confessions of an assassin on the inside leads into the second as they get over number two one or two slow jumps towards the back but lascivious bost leads into this ditch uh, gets over it nicely uh, they're all over that one okay these fences coming up thick and fast there, then this one coming up now, the fourth. And all oh, safely over that one as well with the Bania Project, the back marker. So they can get themselves settled down in now, and it's Lascivious Boss who's the leader from Confessions of an Assassin second, the Grey Batchley Gale is third, then out of tone is fourth. Then there's about three or four in a line, Alexia Squadron, Pride of Paris and Long Hall. With then I'm near side Sponge Bandit, Max is also there as well, so shining bright. And then just tucked in behind them crafty tweed as they take the fifth. Which they're all over okay for Bania Project and Wind Chime at the back with in to win. So call up past the stand then. And the Sivius Bost will lead them into this one. It'll be the last on the next circuit. And over it they all go. Bit of a mistake on the outside there by Long Hall. The one that made a mistake was one of the Alex Cherry horses, he went into a long shot straight afterwards, so I couldn't pick out which one of the two it was. Probably Max, considering that one seemed to have lost a couple of places. But they come past the winning post then with a circuit to go, and the Sivius Boss is in the lead. Confessions of an Assassin passes that winning post in second. Bachelor Gale of the Grey is third, then Sponge Bandit is four. Out of Tony is five, and Alexia Squadron is six. Then Crafty Tweed seven, and Pride of Paris eight, with Financial Wizards shining bright, and then Forza Juve eight. With Long Haul, Interwin, Windchime, Max and Verbania Project at the back. Making their way then down towards the next. With Lascivious Boss jumping that one really well and getting over it nicely. And getting away from it well leads by a good six now to Out of Tone in second. Batchley Gale is third and Sponge Bandit four. As they race down this back straight where these fences will come up thick and fast. And over that one they go, Batchley go right down on its nose there. That's not done that one any favours at all. As Lascivious Boss lead is now down to a little more than three lengths with Out of Tone on the outside. At this ditch they go. And over that one we see them all. And they're all safely over that one and racing away down towards this next plain one that comes up very quickly. And Out of Tone has come up to join Lascivious Boss. And over that one Out of Tone landed just in front with Batchley Gale back in third. Then Sponge Bandit and Pride of Paris. And then Alexia Squadron Crafty Tweed is creeping closer. Confessions of an Assassin on the inside. Then Long Haul Shining Brights after that one. Final Financial Wizard is also there as well. Forza Juve has not got going yet today at all, but it's out of tone. Who's now leading by about a length? The Lascivious Boss in second. Then Batchley Gale is third, and Pride of Paris is four. Sponge Bandit five. Crafty Tweed. Confessions of an Assassin being pulled off the fence as they come to the 11th. There's still plenty of jumping to do in this one, and it's out of tone who's in the lead from Lascivious Boss. Confessions of an Assassin making good red on the outside, but jump that one slowly. Mistake by Long Haul. Batchley Gale has now recovered from that mistake as they take this ditch and over that one they go and it's out of tone and Lascivious Boss disputing the lead. Batchley Gale and Pride of Paris and Sponge Bandit over that one. Lascivious Boss didn't jump it all that well. Mistake at the back by Into Win is surely out of it and it's out of tone in front by a bad length to Lascivious Boss and Batchley Gale. Pride of Paris, Long Haul, Sponge Bandit. Plenty of chances. Verbania Project is making a good looking run round the outside as well. It's a wide open race. This one with three furlongs to go and two fences to jump. Lascivious Boss has gone back into the lead. Lascivious Boss then back in front by a length. Coming out of this second last. Gets over it nicely. Out of tone. Jumped it slightly better on the inside. Then Batchley Gale. 
long haul sponge bandit trying to run on as well it's still wide open wonder jump is going to come down of the jumping it's out of tone now in the lead lascivious box is beating and beats a retreat it's out of tone coming down towards his final flight out of tone from sponge bandit and bachelor gale over the final fence they go and it's out of tone bachelor gale sponge bandit bachelor gale now hits the front the grace just poked his head in front sponge bandit and out of tone trying to close it's going to be a head bob of this one as they race into the final half furlong sponge bandit's just in front bachelor gale's fighting back so too is out of tone but it's sponge bandit surprises everybody and takes it bachelor gale is second out of tone is third and then pride of paris was after that one falls and uve was next and max tailed in last and sponge bandit sat quietly throughout the race and just pounced when the timing was right really and takes it at a massive price a bit of a turn up there then sponge bandit taking it for ryan costello bachelor go for john moran was second out of tone joshua sullivan was third pride of paris for paul rhodes fourth alexia squadron for darren thompson was fifth